welcome to Healthcare Analytics News' post Tim's Conference Wrap-Up. I'm Jack Murtha, Senior Editor, and I'm joined here by my colleagues, Ryan Black and Thomas Castles. I want to start, Ryan, just with, by asking you what big takeaway did you get from this conference? Well, I talked to like probably about 30 people uh, doing video interviews at the show, and I think that the big takeaway was that there actually is very little consensus about the role that new technologies can play in healthcare. There's a pretty wide chasm in between those who think things like AI and blockchain and machine learning are going to have a fundamental change on in the industry, and those who think they're pure hype um, and just buzzwords. So it was kind of interesting to, to try and document that, uh, that dichotomy there. Um, the people who really see huge potential think that you know, the time will come five, ten years from now maybe where you know, we're going to be saying, what would we do in healthcare without this tech? Um, and the others say, you know, sort of show me the proof. Yeah. Sure. What really stood out to you during HIMSS? Well, like Ryan said, I'm hearing quite a bit about blockchain. Uh, and in the same vein, uh, a lot of people are worried about use cases to kind of prove its worth. There seem to be a very high ceiling for promises, but uh, pretty low ceiling for uh, actual delivery in blockchain. Um, I attended a session today that was uh, very well attended. Um, everyone was interested to hear more about uh, good use cases for blockchain. Session maybe didn't really deliver on that, but um, people are still excited. They're looking forward to the future and um, trying to figure out how they might implement this. Sure. I was really struck by some of these advanced analytics partnerships. I saw plenty of kind of jaw-dropping results in mass. Uh, it wasn't just one company here or there. It was happening all over the place. So that really got me thinking, you know, are we seeing some kind of, um, you know, an even greater evolution in analytics? And uh, for instance, I was talking to SAP Health and what they've done with their AI and helping uh, Mercy Health System in St. Louis uh, kind of improve the nursing schedules. Well, they managed to save them $4.3 million. So, you know, I don't know what goes into that number, how you calculate it, but it's impressive nonetheless. I'm going to ask you folks to sum up this meeting in a few words. Four or five. Block, chain, blockchain. <laughs> or blockchain, 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 blockchain. Um, I'd say uh, hectic, noisy, interesting, uh, informative, tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with A I M L N L P. Mm -hmm. I guess you could throw in some D L too. Sure. So yes, all the A I family, pretty much. Well, great. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please, please visit hcanews.com whenever you have a hankering for some health tech news. Also, check out this beautiful new book. So again, I'm Jack Murtha with Healthcare Analytics News. This is Ryan Black, and this is Tom Castles. Thank you. Thanks.